Hello YouTubers. Well this afternoon we're going to do an experiment. We're going to do a repair and replace video of the soft goods for a David Clark set of earmuffs model 310. These were my father's so these are well 35-40 years old. The ear sets have never been replaced and I'm quite sure that, uh, as you can see, the foam is, uh, everything around there is pretty much given up the go. So, let's see what happens. We have a soft goods kit for 10A, 310, 805V, part number 40688G-42 from David Clark in Worcester, Massachusetts. I got these off our... Uh, I believe it's uh, mypilotstore.com. I think it was uh, around $18.95, so your mileage may vary. As you can see, it comes with two sets one of the outer, nice and much foamier than the 35, 40 some odd ones that are there. So I'm going to guess that we can do these individually rather than taking out the side. So let's give it a whirl. Outside comes off pretty easily. Inside foam is not a lot of dried grit or debris in there. Just kind of tap that out a bit. This obviously will go in as such. Fit it in nicely. And this will obviously be the more difficult of the two will be to get this back on. This might take a little bit of effort. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll do the other side first. Other, or I should say the other side as well. Take that one off. Take out the foam. Sorry about that. Put in a new one. Make sure it's in there nice and evenly. And this will be the to see if we start at the far end and work our way around. Plus the replacement sets are a little, I don't want to say slippery, but there's like a silicone feel to them, so. section at a time. And as more and more it gets on there, it does get a little bit more tighter to get on there. And so I'm wondering if maybe a little bit of a something like a popsicle stick might actually be advantageous to kind of work that around into the into the end there which I might do so I'm gonna hold this off for a second back again youtubers once you kinda of figure out the the best way and at least one thing I forgot to mention it's obvious to me but maybe not to you but 
there is a an up and a down left and a right to the foam inserts into the cups obviously a it's higher in height than it is in width and you put in the uh, the foam inserts accordingly and then start lining up the uh, the ear pieces as well there is no real super easy way to get these on except just take your time and kind of work them on I found that having something to sort of brace it up against if you're trying it like if you hold it up to your chest and then you can kind of pull as you're going along seems to work pretty good because it is an extremely good tight fit to get the to get the new ear pieces on so there's no easy way you just kind of work at it and then once it's in there you can you do have a little bit if it's not quite aligned but you can give it a little bit of a tug to set it up and as you can see these are now nice and foam cushiony whereas the old ones you can't really tell but there's absolutely there's nothing here so everything the air cushioning of the rubber is just totally solid and push in and there's nothing where this now has a a nice a nice give to it with the new clean foam and after Taking a couple of still pictures, this is what happened to one of the old ones you can see was starting to dry and flake off, but well, 40 years or so. But there, there's a uh, set of David Clark's, Worcester, Massachusetts, part number 12489G 01, model 310s. These are the ones that you can wear on your head this way, you can spin the band down below your neck or spin it around and wear it under your chin so that's the benefit to these whereas most of the others you really can only wear pretty much like over your head or, or slightly back so very nice pair you can still buy these brand new they still make them David Clark does make several different brands they're well known for their aerospace microphone headsets and it is, as you can see, it is adjustable. It's not a, a wide range of adjustment, but it does pretty good. So there you have it. Soft goods replacement. David Clark, model 310s, also works for the 10A and 805Vs. I think it'll do good. Shooting range, task accomplished. See you, YouTubers.